Hey guys, James here again, Jar of Shut. Uh, I've got a DVD update for you. Uh, I'd ask you to bear with me because I'm think, I think I've got a cold. My throat's really uh, raw at the moment and I've got a bit of a sniff. So uh, yeah, uh, bear with me. Um, first up I've got uh, Witchboard and uh, this is the Region 2 or UK release from Anchor Bay. Um, this one deals with uh, possession and uh, Ouija boards and Supernatural, that kind of uh, horror movie. Uh, I watched it the other night and it was actually really entertaining. I, I really liked it. Uh, it's from, uh, I think it's from 88, 1988. And uh, yeah, it's just a really entertaining, um, unassuming 80s uh, horror movie. That's how I'd describe it. Uh, there's the special features listed right there. Uh, it's got uh, one of those vintage featurette making of, so uh, it was made back in the 80s. Uh, it's also got an audio commentary with uh, writer, director, executive producer, and another producer. So it's got some uh, substantial stuff on there. And I don't I think it's just one disc. Yeah, just one disc. So uh, I'd recommend this one, Witchboard. It's a very different kind of horror movie. Uh, next up we've got Q, The Winged Serpent. And uh, this is a Larry Cohen movie. Um, so I actually really like this one. It's not exactly a horror movie. It's more of one of those, I think it was intended to be a, a, a summer blockbuster kind of movie. It's basically, Q stands for Quetzalcoatl, which is uh, this uh, ancient, uh, I think it's Aztec god, who you can see here on the front. It's this kind of bird creature. You can get a better view of him on the back here. And uh, he's terrorizing New York. Um, very satirical movie, very tongue in cheek. Uh, really entertaining and cheesy and uh, it's got a really great performance in there from uh, Michael Moriarty. Uh, it's got, I think it's, done, it's one of the best I've seen in a horror movie where it's really delirious and um, just off the wall performance. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's also got, uh, uh, what's his name, um, David Carradine in there from who you'd probably know from Kill Bill. He plays Bill. Um, so this is a really good uh, Larry Cohen movie. It's one of my favourites. Um, I think it's from, uh, I'll just take a look on the back here, 1982, and it was a pretty big success when it was released. Um, it's got an audio commentary on there, a teaser trailer, uh, Larry Cohen bio, and uh, Q memorabilia. So uh, it's a pretty good DVD, and I got this for really cheap from the UK. Somebody in the UK had this one, so got it for about two pounds. Um, next up we've got uh, Turkey Shoot. And uh, this is an Australian uh, horror, I guess you could say it's a horror movie. It's more just a straight exploitation film. Um, this is one of our more infamous movies from 1980. Um, give you a look on the back. It's really low budget and uh, really off the wall and crazy and uh, pretty ludicrous movie, but it's a very fun uh, watch. Um, you can tell the budget. Apparently there's a documentary on here and they're talking about how the budget was actually quite high to begin with and then it was slowly pegged back so they weren't really able to realize the movie as they would have liked. Um, but it's still a really entertaining movie. It's got, so, it's got a nice cult cast in there. Olivia Hussey from uh, Black Christmas, uh, Steve Railsback from uh, Helter Skelter who played uh, Charlie Manson and um, it's got uh, two featurettes on there, one called Blood and Thunder Memories and uh, A Good Soldier, which is an interview with the director Brian Tr Trenchard Smith, who's uh, um, probably our biggest figurehead uh, exploitation slash horror slash action director here in Australia. So um, this one's kind of a landmark film for Australian uh, cinema in terms of uh, horror movies. So yeah, Turkey Shoot. Um, next up we've got Cannibal Apocalypse and uh, people will probably instantly um, uh, a bit confused by the cover. This one's the UK release. I know people are probably more familiar with the American release. Uh, the reason I picked this one up, uh, it's actually cut by about two seconds, uh, but the reason I picked this one up is it's exactly the same basically as the American release. It has all the same special features but only those two seconds uh, are different and those two seconds are just apparently burning rats and rats in a, a sewer that got lit a light, uh, lit a, a fire so uh, I didn't think that was much of a loss and I thought um, paying double for the American one wasn't really worth it so I just picked this one up. Um, so as I said it's a UK release, slightly cut but uh, 
not cut by much. Um, it's got a slip case uh, with this kind of blood, 3D blood thing on it. Um, here's the back here. Uh, it's directed by Antonio Magaretti. Uh, he's done a lot of uh, genre movies. Um, this one's about Vietnam vets coming back home and this theme's cannibalism. And it's kind of an action, action-y kind of movie too. Uh, it's got John Saxon in there from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Black Christmas and all that. And it's also got uh, Giovanni Lamberto Radis from City of the Living Dead and uh, House on the Edge of the Park, which I mentioned in, in another one of my videos. He plays one of the thugs. Um, it's got quite a few special features on the back there, as you can see. Um, I'll, I'll just take a look. Cannibal Apocalypse Redux, a documentary with John Saxon, John Morgan and Antonio Magadetti. Uh, Apocalypse in the Streets, a video tour of the filming locations. Uh, some trailers, the butchering of Cannibal Apocalypse, alternative US opening sequence and uh, notes from journalist Travis Crawford. So it's got quite a, a quite a lot of special features on there for this release. And uh, I, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Uh, it's a very fun movie, so yeah, check it out. Cannibal Apocalypse. Um, next we've got, I, can, I don't know how to pronounce this one, I'm sorry. Uh, is it Zetro or Extro? Um, I saw this one, I used to watch this, well I saw it on video, uh, I'd always wanted to pick it up, and this was really cheap, this was about $3 American, it's uh, the special edition of Extro, and it's also got, as you can see, Extro 2 also in there. Um, uh, it's basically an alien thriller kind of movie, very strange and weird, but uh, I really enjoyed this film, so uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Um, it's got some special features on there again. Both films are in anamorphic widescreen and uh, it's got some alternative endings, deleted footage, all new video interview with the director, theatrical trailers, extensive uh, still gallery and behind the scenes photos. So it's, it's pretty substantial stuff on there and uh, I definitely recommend this one for the price. Uh, really good movie and uh, some nice vintage cheese. So check it out, extra. And Extra the Mutilator, is that where you got your name? I'm guessing it is uh, obvious, but anyway. Um, next we've got, next we've got uh, Women in Prison uh, box set from Umbrella. I uh, saw this in uh, Live Fast Diaries update. Um, really good set. Uh, a really good price for it too. It's got four uh, Women in Prison movies in there, if you hadn't guessed. It's got Women in Cages, The Big Bird Cage, uh, big Dollhouse and the Arena, and uh, yeah, I just think it's a really great set if you're into these uh, kind of films. I definitely um, consider importing it. Uh, it's got uh, Badass Cinema, a 60-minute documentary on 70s black exploitation, featuring interviews with Quentin Tarantino, Samuel L. Jackson, Pam Grier, and Isaac Hayes. Uh, an interview with producer Roger Corman and Leonard Moulton. Two audio commentaries by director Jack Hill and uh, image galleries, umbrella trailers, all that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's a really good set. So check it out if you're into these kind of movies. It's a smart purchase, I'd say. Next we've got... Uh, I have to thank um, Jed at uh, the Movie Marathon for this one. He picked it up for me for about $2 and uh, uh, I didn't even ask for it. So uh, uh, thank you very much for that. I'm looking for those movies for you. Um, but it's PIN. And uh, or a plastic nightmare, and uh, with this movie, um, the word underrated gets thrown around a lot, bandied around a lot. But uh, this one really uh, deserves that term. It's an underrated movie. If you haven't seen this one, check it out. Uh, really great movie. Really atmospheric and creepy and strange. Um, as I said, it wasn't available here in Australia. I know there's a, a Anchor Bay version of this one, but it's exactly the same as uh, this version I have here. Uh, it's got an anamorphic widescreen transfer and an audio commentary. Um, it's just, uh, it's really hard to talk about this film. Um, very strange and trippy, uh, but uh, you'll enjoy it. So uh, seek it out if you can, and uh, it's a really great film. Um, so yeah, Pin, really great one and sadly forgotten now, but a uh, really good movie. Um, and that's going to have to do it. I think I'm under time. Uh, yeah, anyway, Jarrah's hut out. Thank you for watching.